Now, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked some of your players. Who are the 2016 Padres? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think, you know, it's a, it's a team that, you know, we're looking to be competitive. I mean, I think it really starts with our starting pitching, you know, starts with the three guys in the rotation. Uh, but, you know, I think when you're looking at it, we've, we've got a little more balance and depth than we had last year from a left-handed bat standpoint. You know, center field with John Jay, shortstop with Alexei Ramirez. And, you know, I, I like our bench and I like some of the guys that are going to be coming off the bench. But, you know, I think, you know, some of the, you know, some of the, the established guys, the Derek Norris, the Matt Kemp, the Will Myers, those guys are going to have to play well. And it really is going to come down like every year starting pitching. And you now Tyson Shields, Kashner, they're going to have to throw well for us. You started off with a starting pitching. Is that right now what early on that you identify as the strength of, of this team? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, it was an area that, you know, last year, you know, it was, uh, you know, I think those guys, they've pitched well at times last year, but we really never got it going as a staff, you know, one through five. And I think, you know, if we're going to be successful, I know Tyson Shields and Kashner and that crew, we're, we're capable to be, you know, to be a, to be a productive pitching staff. And I think, uh, you know, I think I think that's that's really going to tell a big story for how we do this year you know, overall. Is how those guys do, honestly. Since the days of the great Trevor Hoffman, the Padres closer has always been a strength. It's always been it's always been solidified. It's always been one guy, Trevor Hoffman, um, Heath Bell, Kimbrel, guys like that. How do you see this bullpen and the closer shaping out? Yeah, I think when we made the deals we did in the offseason, we knew that you know the bullpen was going to be somewhat of a question mark. We we're going to have to piece it together. You know, it was going to be we we're going to have to give some guys opportunities. Our scouts, we're going to have to do a good job identifying, you know, some guys we want to take chances on. And you know, I think there's one thing coming out of spring training where you know we'll see when we get going for real. You know how it plays out. But you know, Fernando Rodney threw well. I think we have some left-handed options, and you know. Um, you know, and we have some guys from the right-hand side with Brandon Maurer and, and Kevin Quackenbush that have been in that seventh, eighth inning. And I think some guys are going to have to step up. Kimbrel, Benoit, big losses, obviously. But I do think we have some pieces that, that you know, have, have the look of being a successful bullpen for us. So. It's such a different vibe this year versus last year. Last year's opening day, you had, there's, the expectations were through the roof, nationally, locally. What are, you, what are you expecting from this team? I mean, there was an expectation last year of winning. Your owner said playoffs are bust. What do you expect from this team? I, I still think, like, I mean, in terms of, like, you know, expectation level, I, I still think expectations go out and, put, you know, and play well. I mean, I think even last year with a lot of the talk, um, you know, I don't think anybody, at least, you know, from, from my own standpoint, baseball operations group, nobody really looked out and said, hey, we have to win, you know, 90 games or it's a buzz. You, you want to go out and you want to play to, you know, the best of your ability. And we didn't do that last year overall as a group. And I think, you know, with this team, I think if we play well, if we play to the best of our ability, I think we're going to be competitive. I think we're going to be a team that, you know, that has a chance to play, you know, to, to compete and play in October. We're going to have to have a lot of questions answered. There are some things that, you know, maybe on paper that, you know, are going to be question marks for our club. But I think there's some guys in that clubhouse, in that room, that are going to be up to the challenge. And I think, you know, from, from that standpoint, playing the game the right way, you know, you know, being productive, being good teammates, some of the same things we talked about last year, I think the key is that we actually fulfill those things this year, and I think that will lead to a successful club. It might be a lot. It's a lot of buzz for Jabari Blash. I'm not sure if it's the, the fan buzz, the home runs that he hits, but um, it's surprising to have two – you have two – Two Rule Five guys on your roster. What do you expect from from Jar, Jar, Jabari Blash? What do you want to see from him? Yeah, I think with Jabari, I think you know we saw we saw two of the things he brings to the table in spring training: his big power, and he's also patient at the plate. I think he's a guy. It's hard to find. It's hard to find you know power in the game of baseball today. And I think he has, you know, he has legit real power that can change the game with one swing. I think he's going to have to like anything else. He's you know he's only been really exposed to the Double A, Triple A level, and the big leagues are a big you know a big challenge for him. He's going to have to figure out. You know, playing off the bench for the first time, at least early in the season, playing left field, which he's never done before. Those are things he's going to have to adjust to. Um, but I think, you know, from an ability standpoint, he shows in spring training that he has a chance to impact the game with his power. Um, and, you know, hopefully uh, we're able to see that in the regular season this year. Last thing, both both Tyson Ross and James Shields says one of the biggest differences where you guys improved this season is the clubhouse. It's a better clubhouse. It's, it's 25 guys all working for the same thing. What do you like about this year's team from last year's team? Yeah, I mean, I, I do think I think from uh, you know from that dynamic, I sat down with you know with a couple of the players at the end of last year and just talked about, hey, tell me, tell me where we went wrong, tell me you know good and bad, tell me some things that you think can be improved. And you know, I think a lot of times it was really no different than what we tried to do last year in terms of the type of guys that we brought into the you know to, to the situation, in terms of the type of guys we brought to the team. I just think like maybe the dynamic in spring training, we brought some guys that have been there, have won. I think they're guys that are that are team guys, and I don't know necessarily if that's different 100% than last year, but I think so far the chemistry and the dynamic we've seen in spring training, I think it has that feel, and you know I think a lot of that takes place as we get into the season. We get into the grind, you start playing at the, you know it's easier right now to talk about it, but I think uh, you know I think it's going to play out that way as we get into the year, but um, you know I do know that that's been a focus the last two off seasons, and I think we're able to add a couple guys this off season that hopefully are you know are winning type pieces for us this year. Thank you.